Hello and welcome to video number three. In this specific video, we're going to be talking about mapping out your sales funnel. After you sell your initial front end offer, will you be offering your buyers a one time offer? Will you be offering them a back end product? Because if you are, Dizzy Results allows for one one time offer and a back end product. So why should you offer a one-time offer? You may not have a one-time offer or a back-end product as you're watching this. You may only have a product. But I want to suggest to you that you create a one-time offer and a back-end product. And here's why. OTOs or one-time offers offer the ability to increase your profits. And here's why. And this is because customers are in a buying mode. It's easier to sell something to somebody who has just invested into your product and they trust in you by investing money into your product. If they've invested money into your product, then they're most likely going to buy something else that you have to offer. Now, in order for this to work, and in order for you to get higher conversions, the one-time offer or the back-end product must be related or helpful in some sort of way to the front-end offer. If your one-time offer has nothing to do with your front-end offer, then you're actually going to get a lot lower conversions. Normally, conversions can range from anywhere from 50 to 75% when the offer is tightly related to the front-end offer. And that's just a secret that you can use right away. So some examples of a one-time offer is, let's say you have a front-end offer that describes some sort of uh, strategy or system or process. Then for your one-time offer, you could offer a shortcut of the front-end offer. Let's say the front-end offer system would take you normally five hours to implement but you're offering a one-time offer for a piece of software or maybe some shortcuts, secrets that your customers can use to speed the process from five hours to, let's say, 15 minutes. So that could be your one-time offer. So for somebody who wants to speed the process up, which is likely to be most people, then they're probably going to invest more money into your one-time offer. You can also offer a software, a done-for-you service, or something that helps them save time and money. Backend offers. DigiResults has backend offers set so that after somebody pays, you can offer them something additional to your initial product or something else. But I would recommend it offering something that actually complements the initial product. So this is what a basic sales funnel looks like. And this is the actual sales funnel that I'm going to be, be implementing and be showing you how to set up on your Digi Results account. So you've got your main sales page that links to the thank you page. So it's fairly basic. But with Digi Results, the sales funnel setup looks like this. You have the main sales page and after somebody pays for the product, you can send them to a one-time offer. And then you have a back-end offer that is on the back-end of the actual page. So I want to get you to realize that adding a one-time offer or a back-end offer actually uses the same setting. So it's actually very, very easy to add a one-time offer or back-end offer. And it's actually the same as adding the initial front-end offer on Digi Results. So everything that I'm going to cover, the sales page, the thank you page, and the checklist basically is the same thing for the one-time offer and the back-end offer. So you will, of course, need to have an additional sales page and thank you page for each of those other one-time offers and back-end offer products. So let's go ahead and start putting the pages together so that we can set this up on to digi results and that's what i'm going to discuss in the next video